Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Rox Apple. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So we're in the streets of Ocho Rios, and I'm here with, you know, one of the ladies of the night, as people would call it, you know, we're not not no hustle. Every hustle is a hustle, and every honest hustle, we're not nothing. So we're gonna ask some questions, you know. We're here with um, Diamond, and we're gonna ask her how long she's staying in the street, and how long she'll do what she'll do, and what she wants to accomplish after doing all of this, or from doing all of this. So, welcome, Diamond. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine. And I just want to say I'm so grateful for you to do this video for me. No problem. You know, sometimes we want to know what I'm going in Right, right. How long have you been out here in the street? Two years. Two years? Well, how, how the streets treat you? Like, what kind of people you walk up with? Well, I walk up on the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, the bad, the street. Mm -hmm. And the experience of in the street is that you, you come through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you just have to be on point mm -hmm. because it's very dangerous out here. Mm -hmm. Very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't know who we're going with, mm -hmm. who we're going to come across, but we still risk it. Right. And, and hoping for the best. best. I want to ask you is it something that you enjoy doing? Not sometimes because it comes with a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's not really enjoyable, but to support myself financially, right. Right. I have to do it. Because if I don't do it, I'm going to be a beggar. Instead of beg somebody, right. I'd rather do, it, do this do to make a living. Because right. at least it's just an honest living. Right. And we don't right. have to protect ourselves out here in the streets. Another question I want to ask you. Like, sometimes, do you get like, you know, like a man pull up on Sometimes you kind of get scared. Like, yes, I have a go with a lot of them, especially when they're with a woman, because the news specifically said that we have to look out in the street because they're taking away the girls them, and also they're doing it with the with the girl them, the guy okay. and the girls and, and them. Her, right. So it's like we panic, mm -hmm. we get nervous, mm -hmm. we don't know what in store for us. So I, nobody really go with them with okay. a female and a guy because. Okay. That could be we the victim. Right. At the moment. Right. I want to ask you like, alright, so for instance, how much do you charge by like? Well, we go by to charge rate by sometimes ten thousand, fifteen thousand. What? Twenty thousand, five thousand. That's, that's it. That's a lot of money for the night. So for instance, say you get you get a five pen for the night, you get a five from one or two, you'll get ten from one. I would have some money that yeah, like 30, 25 What? Thousand. What is it? Alright, would you encourage like females, like younger females who are teen boys, you know, become a prostitute? Right. Would I would say that they it? should go to school because even though I'm out here in the street, I went to school and I have my certificates. Mm -hmm. Also, so any day I choose to quit, I have something to fall back on. I want to ask yes. you another question. Why do you do it? I do it because it's hard to maintain myself. When I have a normal job, it's not enough money to financially. Mm -hmm. Because if I have a normal job, it's $10,000, not even that much a week. You understand? It's hardly daily. By the time you pay fair to work and finish work, you, you hardly can pay your bills and buy food in your house. Yeah, I understand that. So, um, do you guys get into squabbles and stuff like that? Like disagreements and this true? How do you deal with alright? So for instance, I know that everybody kinda have them territory. How do if a, if a new female come on a block and nobody really bothered them? Nobody because everybody gotta eat. Okay. So everybody understand it also. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So where do you see yourself like the next five? Well, the next five years, I'm off of this. You know what I'm saying? I will be doing something completely different. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. okay. So. Um, do you, what do you do? You do you always protect yourself, meaning using a condom like always? Yes, I always yes. do. Just yes. like the yes. other day, um, yes. I end up going to a business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what happened. And I end up stray away. Mm -hmm. And when I stray away, I end up with drinking too much. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if somebody drops something in my liquor mm -hmm. and I get attacked by a female. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The other okay. day. So, and it's not even about money. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I was not even working at the time. All I should have do is just pick myself and go home. And go home. Right. Okay. It's very dangerous in every hangar out here. Okay. Do you 
you guys do you get like a regular HIV test? Yes. No, regular. Regular. Okay. Yes. Do oh, alright. So uh, actually, I left my test because I had it. I normally walks with it, mm -hmm. but I left it tonight. At okay. The house. Okay. Yes, I have it. Alright. Another and question. It's okay. clean. Okay. Another question I would like to ask you is, like, persons who know that this is your job. Oh, they, they treat you. They treat me normal, and there was some people. A lot of people respect it because it's an honest hustle, living, right. so they don't look down on us. Right. Okay. And they just, you know, it's just a hustle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it, they don't disrespect us or anything. Okay. Normal man that have their nine to five and mm -hmm. stuff like that come out here actually looking us. Okay. To be with them. With, okay. Nice people like people in high places, mm -hmm. not even low places, high, high places. places. Because so once you carry yourself clean and you're clean, people is gonna wanna and they, they see that you're trying. Yes. See it's not what you do, it's how, how you do it and how right. you carry yourself. Right. So from once they see that you're doing it yourself mm -hmm. a favor of making your money, mm -hmm. taking care of yourself, you know, at night come you could go home to your comfortable home. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're you're very responsible out here. All people right. respect that. Okay. Because it's not like we do this to go get drugs. None of these girls out here is doing drugs. Okay, None that's of very them. good. That's very good. They okay. just do it as a job. Mm -hmm. All right. What I want to ask though, does it does it um play on your mental health or have you have any co-workers who say you know why it has stressed me out in America? Of course, everybody, all of us. Sometimes all of us. It comes with it because sometimes it comes out here when I say we don't know what we're going to. But we're just hoping for the best. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that's where it's at right now, you know? Oh, okay. But definitely, we all think like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. All right. I really appreciate this interview with Thank you, you. Diamond. You're such a sweetheart. Thank very, you. very nice personality. And I'm hoping to come again and do another interview with you no problem. that's if you're up for it so guys I'll do it again the, all right so this is the end of my video wrap up a tv don't forget to like the video subscribe and comment and tell me what you think about diamonds attitude you think she she want nice girl in the street and so remember we nah not no also from my honest also we nah knock it big up yourself diamond yeah man i'm out